Enjoy the vibes. Like a big bubble, all these faces. Feels like you're going back into the 1900s. What an experience. This is a decontamination room. This is sizzling. Looks beautiful. Good afternoon guys, we're in Tirana. It's been a few days, we've caught up a bit on work and now we're ready to explore this awesome city. Yeah. So far we've just been eating, drinking, just doing normal things. And it was amazing. And it's so amazing. So many cool, affordable <laughs> restaurants, like really good vibe and excellent food. We just came back from this restaurant called Iona. Ooh. It's the second time that we've been there because it's so good. Tell us, do you visit the same restaurant on a trip if you really enjoy the food or are you checking out only different places? We're going to a bunker now that has like an art exhibition and then there is a free walking tour so what I really like to do on a city trip is join a free walking tour to get some information about the city and also get like a general overview where things are we also wanted to check out a cable car but I'm not sure if we can still do this today if it's maybe a little bit tight because you have like big mountains here actually close to Tirana feels like we're in like a valley yeah or at least there's some sort of range next to us we're gonna start our journey and the first impressions of Tirana with a bunker Albania actually wants to join the European Union but they are the last country in in Europe that ended communism and they were very secluded for a very long time so they actually love America it's kind of a little bit their role model they also have a George W Bush street here they just find like they've always wanted to be a free country okay. celebrate democracy and United States is kind of the best city for them in the world best and country. they also help end the communist era and end the Cold War so far this is our favorite I think overall we really enjoy the vibes it's also more affordable than the other places and and also Tirana is like a big city with a lot of international cuisine. <laughs> Crossing the street. This is what it looks like when you're walking around. We still haven't even seen anything out of the one city, but I've pretty much been blown away so far by how awesome this is. Everything has been great. I'm excited now after we've been basically hunkered down for the past few days to go and explore some of this beautiful city. On the side of the street, they have like a book D market shop. Look at this beautiful park too. This they is Albania. It. It's mid-September as of filming this and the weather is amazing. The temperature is perfect. The humidity is perfect. Blue skies, beautiful days, every single single day and I really can't wait to see some of the coastal yeah. like beauty as well of the country. We're apparently, probably gonna grab a car and go and check out things a little bit more. Apparently there's like really cool national parks here as well. Kind of like a fjord or like a mountainous area with oh. like beautiful views. We are checking out the coast. The sun is called Scamio or something. It looks stunning, like the clearest, bluest water, some little islands. It's very close to the country of Greece. You know, the next country to the south is Greece. And we're just east of Italy, across the water. Probably one of the most unexpected destinations of this crazy European summer trip, and one of my favorites. Right, we just arrived at one of these bunker art installations. This is really cool. Here's like the entrance, like a big bubble kind of entrance above, right in the square here. Yeah. Let's check this out. Cool. So we're in a bunker, it's all these faces, and it's turned into an art installation. You have like stairs going down. In the bunker now, it is essentially now a museum. It's pretty narrow in here, and each room has more information about the history here in Tirana and what exactly has happened. It's really interesting being in this bunker, really telling a lot about the history of everything that's happened here in Albania, but they've incorporated it into this physical space. It's definitely something to check out if you're here in Tirana and looking to learn more about the history of Albania. It's really incredible how this whole bunker is preserved. It feels like you're going back into the 1900s. We're inside the Minister of Internal Affairs from 1913 to 1991. Like this actual room right here in this bunker and even the minister's bedroom was just right here. This is his commute from work, just straight from here. You just come right on over here. Incredibly heavy, sad. Things I had no idea, so much communism. So many people who died and who were like, imprisoned, not even being guilty, people yeah. who were paid to snitch on follow fellow citizens. Yeah, it's very heavy, but I think important to educate yourself to know and understand the history better and to, for the future, prevent such things from happening. These are all the ministers through the years on the wall here. It's the last one here, all the way until 1991. <laughs> 
Place was actually never used, but this is a decontamination room. Assuming you ended up in some sort of radioactive situation, you could actually come into here and be completely decontaminated in these six different chambers. I'm standing in one right now, it is really airy feeling. There's a note here that said that most of the things in this bunker were never actually used. It was just like as a precautionary thing, an investment was made at the time. It's an interesting experience, interesting world, and you step back out and you're back into the bunker completely decontaminated. We're clean now. Wow, what an experience. We also just saw holding cells and readiness rooms. They were basically ready for anything. There's only three times that this was even used. Even in those situations, just very limited use. Most of the facilities in this bunker were never actually used for their intention. Here you have like sound effects of like a nuclear, you know, the alarm for nuclear attack. It's just very interesting and definitely check it out, learn about the history. All right, we're gonna exit now. coming out of the bunker with a lot more insights. So it's really hard to imagine that all of that happened here because right now, it seems like a really modern, trendy, hip yeah. place, honestly. I mean, our Airbnb is in Bloke. It's like trendy bars and restaurants, very expensive for the city. And this area was completely closed off to regular citizens just until 1991. Only the elite of the political elite could. If you told me that I was in the East Village in Manhattan or in certain parts of you know, even Brooklyn, the trendiness and the restaurants and bars bars and nightlife, they've really come quite a way from the bunker. thing underneath here, well, we were just inside of here. But it's actually understandable that they want to move on and continue their life because they were 500 years under Ottoman rule. Then when Albania was their own country in 1912, they've been basically suppressed since then. And then the fascist regime came and then straight after that, they had like the oppression of other leaders. They were just eager to become free and a democratic country. It does make sense. We're going to go check out a bit more of what Toronto has to offer. Yeah. We started first, I guess, with the past, and now let's jump into the future. We just saw this thing over here, this some sort of disinfection. <laughs> I'm pleased. <laughs> We're just wandering around now. There's like a park right outside. It's a World Press Photo Exhibition here outside. Yeah, this whole city has just been filled with like art, culture, trends. It's amazing to see what has happened here as freedom has become the norm. All around the city of Tirana. Communism collapsed, so we removed from the original locations, put them behind the Gallery of Art. For many years, they kept them covered, mostly for tourism purposes. They decided to uncover the two big stands and landing. Now, a few years ago, we decided to uncover Hoja, but it's still not facing the street. People don't know about their existence. So we just saw the first Catholic Christian church because, of course, Albania only became non-communist in 1991. It's practically a brand new church, modern, built right here. I've just been on this free walking tour, which we could highly recommend. Learning so many interesting facts about everything that's happened in the history of this country. We're inside a traditional Albanian restaurant. You couldn't come all the way to Albania without trying their food, which so far on this menu looks similar. At least we'll see when it comes out what it looks like, but it looks similar to Greek food. Here's the first thing. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try this yogurt that they have here. Oh, this bread is not normal. It's kind of like a corn spongy bread. I'm gonna dip this in. Hmm. This is much closer to like a cream cheese. It's not really for me. It's not great, but it's not not great. It's like right in the middle. So after I've taken some more bites, it's more like bagel and cream cheese. It is actually good. It's kind of like an Albanian bagel. Whoa, this looks beautiful. It's a casserole with cream cheese and vegetables. Mmm, very nice. It tastes really good and I'm happy to eat it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so we got forgis, veroli, and we got tavgeo. We're gonna try both of those really quick right now. I'm gonna let this one cool. Look at this, this is sizzling still. Let's try it. Mmm, it's like really nice and cheesy and creamy. You can taste like the onions, you can taste the green peppers, the red peppers. It's like a really good overall flavor. It's not too heavy, but okay. oily. I think this is great though. But what we're really interested in is what the fried cheese tastes like. Can fried cheese be bad? I really don't think so. Mmm, 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 mmm. This and this together would be so good. I'm not really a big casserole guy, but we're gonna try the second one here. This has some kind of, he didn't know. It might be lamb, it might be beef. We have no idea what's inside. Looks like this. 
It's more like a stew than like a casserole. Pretty sure that's beef as well that's in there. It's good. I feel like this needs like rice or something to go next to it because it's a really like hearty dish and the gravy is really good and the actual stew from it. But yeah, this is pretty good. I prefer this personally. And the cheese is so good. I've just like eaten all of it right now. <laughs> we have so much coming up. So definitely hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up on the video and we'll see you in the next one.